Hey everybody, it's Joseph Palumbo again. And in this video, we're gonna focus on how to pull metrics from the information that's being put into the spreadsheet. So in the first spreadsheet, we built the basic structure and we used um, the data validation tool to make sure that all the information that's being put in is uniform and consistent. In the second video, we used conditional formatting uh, to color code um, these cells based on the value uh, that's in there. And in the case of the last engaged, uh, it actually works based on today's date. Um, so it lets you know how, how recently uh, these accounts have been contacted. Uh, but in this video, we're actually going to go into a second tab that I'd like to create, um, which is based purely on metrics. And if you look here, uh, I have a little square that I built out, a little rectangle, and I do this for all of my CSMs in my real uh, sheet that I use uh, at, at my day job. Um, and this one's called John's Metrics. And you can see some things like, for example, how many accounts is he currently uh, working with? Um, how much revenue is he carrying? How many accounts are in good, good versus unknown versus churn risk versus churning? How many accounts have been contacted in the last 30 days, uh, in the last 60 days, and in the last 90 days? And then which accounts uh, have been uh, either proactive or reactive in their last engagement? Um, and it's surprisingly easy to actually pull this information out uh, automatically using uh, Google Sheets count if and sum if function. And let us let me actually show you how a couple of these work. Um, so for example, here it shows that John has three accounts. And what I'm actually using is this count if function where I'm telling it to look into a certain column and if it finds a value, then count that. So it's column E. So if you look here, E is the CSM column. And I'm basically saying everyone that has John, go ahead and count that. And so there's three Johns there. So John has three accounts. If I were to go in here and assign this LexCore, say to Eric, then we can go back over here and we see that his account numbers went down. We also see that revenue changed. Now for revenue, I use a function called sum if. Now sum if basically goes in that first column again, column E, says look for everyone that has John. And then for those rows, go into column D and add up the revenue that's in there. So once again, looks in E, finds John two times, then goes into column D, and then pulls over the revenue. So in this case, for example, let's say for Stark Industries, if we get them for a nice upsell, let's say we bring them up to $20,000, we would add that there. We go in here and we now see 40,000. If unfortunately we lose a little bit of revenue with say Wayne Enterprises and they go down to say 15,000, if you look over in the second sheet, we now see the revenue's at 35,000. So it's, uh, it's pretty consistent as far as you know, how it, it updates the revenue in somewhat real time. The same thing here with good, unknown churn risk and churning, same deal. I go into column E where the CSMs are. I say find every row that has John and then go into column H and find every time an account is marked as good. So we have one good, one unknown. So if we went over here, let's say we have this one unknown, which is Wayne Enterprises. If we give them a call, it turns out that they're actually good. If we go back over here, we now have two good and zero unknown. So as my CSM or as John the CSM is updating his tracker, I can look in here and just automatically see what's going on with all of his accounts. Now where it gets a little tricky is, is this date, uh, these three date uh, metrics right here. So uh, accounts that have been contacted in between one to 30 days, 31 to 60, and then 60 to 90. So what we actually have to do here is use this little legend. And the way I'm doing this is I use Google Sheets today function, uh, which is equal sign today, open, close parentheses. And that gives me today's date. And then I do 30 days back, which is today minus 30. And 60 days back, which is today minus 60. And then of course 90 days back, which is today minus 90. Now I then use these fields, which is gonna be H1 through four, to go in here and do a count ifs, and that's plural, count ifs, um, to check a range. So what I'm doing first of all is I'm going into column E, which is where the CSM is listed, and I'm saying, hey, for every row that has John, look for two values in column G. Column G is this engagement column, so that's where all the dates are. And what I'm saying is go into, go into column G for every row that you find John, I want, to find out how many times a value is less than or equal to today's date, which is H1 over here, and greater than or equal to H2, which is the 30 days out. And in this case, I have two that are in that one to 30 day range. Now, if I went back over here, I found one with John, and let's say let's go back, 
let's go back to the beginning, you know, let's go back to July 4th. I can go there, look back over here, and now I only have one with a one to 30 day, and then I have one which is in the 31 to 60 day. So I basically have this measurement. You can see how these dates change up here in the formula field, how it kind of cycles down using this legend right here. And that's where it gets a little bit complicated, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to actually do this video to show people you know, how I finally figured out how to do it after a tremendous amount of Googling. Uh, and then finally, using your basic count ifs function, uh, I wanna know how many accounts that belong to John are marked proactive and how many are marked reactive. And right now it's one and one. And as with anything in here, if I go and find one that's marked John and mark that as proactive, it's gonna change that number here. So as you can see, it's with a little bit of uh, Google functionality, Google Sheet functionality, and I believe this is also available in Excel. Um, you can pull data out of that first sheet where your CSMs are gonna be tracking all of their engagements, all of their activities, and actually pull that into a secondary tab. You can even pull it into a secondary spreadsheet completely outside, so just you can see it. Um, but you can actually pull metrics out of there. The other thing that I have, which I'm not gonna show in this video, perhaps I'll do it in another video, is using Google Script uh, once a month, or I'm sorry, once a week, every Thursday night, I actually pull these metrics where they're at. I, I'll, I pull them into a separate spreadsheet altogether and I have them tracked. So week over week, I can see how all of these metrics are changing on Thursday night. And so if I wanna actually build a trend to see how many accounts John's had over the last few months, where his revenue's been over the last three months, uh, his account distribution between good, unknown, churn risk, and churning over the last three months, uh, I can do that because I basically have these values being pulled out and put into a completely separate spreadsheet that only I have access to. So I know that this is uh, this particular part of the spreadsheet gets a little bit complicated. What I'm actually gonna do is, is put a link to the spreadsheet um, in the, in the uh, notes uh, or wherever I post this, uh, where you can actually go and kind of play with this spreadsheet and see exactly how I did it. You can see how I use these functions in order to achieve this functionality. Um, but I hope this was actually some help. Uh, the truth is, is that uh, if you do have the resources and the capability of going out and securing and integrating a real customer success platform, that hands down is going to be the best solution. But during the interim, when a lot of folks are relying on spreadsheets anyways, um, with a little bit of work and a little bit of Googling, you can actually build in some pretty decent uh, metrics and some conditional formatting, which just makes everybody's life a lot easier. Uh, if there's anything here that you uh, have any questions about or uh, want to ask me about, by all means, hit me up on Twitter. I am at Palumbo, uh, or you can hit me up on any of the forums that I hang out, including my, my website, josephpalumbo.com. I uh, hope this was helpful, and I uh, hope you have a great day.